Step 1. Admitted having developed a destructive alcohol habit as a consequence of attempting to escape the curriculum of life. Abandoning our defence systems and moving away from the belligerent denial that has kept us in prison is liberating. No longer do we have to scheme to get that money to feed the habit. No longer do we have to lie and deceive to defend the habit. No longer do we have to expend vital energy on suppressing the truth. It is out in the open. What a relief. Prior to admitting having an alcohol habit, our minds were constantly preoccupied with living a lie. Every day was Groundhog Day, the cyclic repetition of life-denying behaviour. Lies, deceit, scheming, manipulation and blame. All designed to feed a habit that was destroying us. Although we constantly reassured ourselves that things would get better, they never did. The spiral was unidirectional, downward. In the words of Albert Einstein, insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. On accepting step one, we are no longer prepared to delude ourselves. No longer do we subscribe to the belief that alcohol is a magical panacea for the dissolution of all problems. We recognise it for what it is, the fuel that ignites mental turbulence and leads to persecution. Alcohol kills our conscience and renders our memory inactive. Consequently, we lose control of our faculties and become unpredictable menaces. Our normal standards, morals, principles and ethics disappear as Dr. Jekyll turns into Mr. Hyde, and off we go on a trail of destruction. On emerging from the drunken escapade, we are aghast to be told of our antics during blackout. Highly embarrassed and often guilt-ridden, we reach for the bottle to obliterate the memory and the whole destructive cycle starts again. What a shambles! What an utter waste of life! And people exclaim that they can't give it up. By quitting alcohol, the only thing you're giving up is destruction, anguish, despair, embarrassment, guilt and remorse, all life-denying behaviour. Accepting step one reveals the willingness to change and a longing to live. Committed to transforming the mental and emotional debris that has warped our mind for years into psychological and spiritual nourishment from which we will grow and flourish, we awaken the archetypal alchemist. By taking this step, we acknowledge two fundamental truths. 1. Our primary problem is a refusal or inability to embrace the challenges of life. 2. A destructive habit has transpired as a consequence of repeatedly using alcohol as an escape vehicle. Here we acknowledge that abstaining from alcohol alone will not alleviate the problem. Alcohol is a symptom, not a cause. As weeds grow back if we don't remove the roots, so our destructive alcohol habit will return if we don't address the underlying issues that warrant escape. Relapse is a consequence of unresolved issues surfacing and disturbing our equilibrium. The subsequent mental persecution heightens to such an extent that we seek escape and like lemmings throw ourselves back into the abreactive abyss. Alcohol is an escape vehicle. If we remove the need to escape, the vehicle becomes obsolete. Before embarking on this journey, we didn't understand the true nature of the habit that was destroying us. But now that has changed. Step 1 sees our power return. No longer do we blame others for our dilemma. No longer do we subscribe to the belief that we've contracted some unfathomable disease or personality disorder. We place the locus of control firmly within ourselves. With complete abandon, we accept that addiction is not something that has been unwittingly thrust upon us. It is a habit. By definition, a habit is something that we have taught ourselves to do. Taught ourselves to do so expertly, in fact, that is now second nature. Even our brain has rewired itself in support. But once we intervene and consciously break the destructive patterns that underlie our alcoholism, the supporting neural networks disband and make way for new ones, life-enhancing ones. By consciously breaking the chain of automatic responses that disable us and replacing them with strategies that enable us, we rewire the brain in a way that gives rise to a radical new way of being. The fundamental message of step one is break the chain, rewire the brain. 
when we stop reacting in ways we've always reacted and take control of our lives we begin to rewire the brain in such a way that it becomes life supporting life enhancing step one declares as powerful beings who had become temporarily detached from our power source the rest of the steps are designed to reconnect us to our power source and bring about the radical shift in consciousness needed to embrace our true potential.